Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're kind of following up on my polishing video with a video about how to care for your wood plugs and hangers. So earlier this month, I posted a video about how to polish and care for metal hangers and jewelry, and I asked if y'all wanted to see me do other organic materials, and I got a lot of good feedback. So today, we're talking about how to care for your wood plugs and hangers. Now care for wooden body jewelry is definitely a little bit different than care for metal body jewelry or other materials. Wood is a very porous material and tends to stay very, very dry and can even be drying for some people's lobes. So proper care for wood plugs is to oil or moisturize them. Now a disclaimer for anyone with wood plugs or wood body jewelry is one of the biggest elements to proper care for wood is not to let it get wet. Do not wear your wood jewelry in the shower, in the sauna, to go swimming, things like that. And try not to get your wood jewelry wet even when you're not wearing it. In fact, even if you're outside in a really heavy rain, try your best to cover it. This is because wood expands when it's wet, and back in the day when wood was a little bit more popular of a material, a lot of folks ended up forgetting that they were wearing wood plugs and wearing them to shower or go swimming. And those wood plugs expanded in their ears and got stuck. Very stuck. It was a very bad time. I saw far too many threads of people like literally tearing their ears from trying to rip out wood plugs that had gotten wet and expanded in their ears and caused problems. So please, whatever you do, do not get your wood jewelry wet with water. Now, when it comes to wearing wood jewelry healthily and maintaining it, all you need is an oil of your choice, an old t-shirt, and the wood that you wanna wear. Now, when it comes to picking an oil for wood plugs, everyone's gonna vary on what they prefer. As a baseline, most makers and carvers suggest a clear processed vitamin E oil or jojoba oil. The key there being the word clear. Wood body jewelry will change colors and typically darken over time as it absorbs the natural oils from your skin and from wear. And using yellow or darker amber colored oils will also cause your wood plugs to change color and darken over time. Now, normally when we hear about jewelry changing color, we want to scream and run away because we're used to that being a very, very bad thing when it comes to metal jewelry. And that's correct. You don't want your metal jewelry changing funky colors on you. But wood being an organic material is naturally going to darken and kind of age over time as you wear it. And honestly, I think that's one of the cool things of wearing wood plugs and wood hangers and watching them kind of season themselves in and age over time. However, if you want to avoid that effect, you're going to want to use an oil that's processed to be clear, and that's going to be most easily found as vitamin E or jojoba oil. On the flip side, if you prefer the way wood plugs looked after someone's been wearing them for years and you like that, like, they get like this rich kind of ambery depth to them a lot of times, you can choose an oil that's less refined and in its natural darker color to help with that. I had one friend many years ago who swore by finding the darkest ambery olive oil he could find and dousing his brand new wood plugs in them to get them to darken a little bit faster when he was first oiling them. Me personally, I've used darker oils and I've seen the way it ages. I've used lighter oils and seen that too. I really like watching my wood plugs and my wood hangers kind of grow with me as I'm wearing them, so I tend to use a clear pressed oil, but if you have a lot of wood and you want to experiment, try some of the darker jojoba oils and see how you like that effect on your plugs. So here we've got my polishing setup. I've got some super cute desk head moth plugs in 38 millimeters from America Organic. I have my old t-shirt, which is actually the shirt that I wear when I dye and bleach my hair. So it's covered in stains, don't judge me. And then I've got a container of oil. Now this container does say naked oil on it. Um, this is an old bottle that I had around, but the pump is amazing. So I've been refilling it with clear pressed jojoba oil for literally years. Um, so ignore the label, I just really like this bottle. So all I'm gonna do is take a small pump. I'm gonna start on the back of the plug and just kind of rub it in. And then I'm gonna move along to the wearable as the plug starts to absorb that oil. Now these haven't been oiled in a little bit. I've been kind of a bad plug mom. Um, so I'm gonna use a second pump on the front to really make sure that I have enough oil to saturate. And I'm just gonna gently rub that in. 
As you're rubbing, you can kind of feel at first the wood is like drinking up the oil. And after a certain point, it kind of starts to feel like it's just sitting on the surface of the wood. Once I've rubbed it into that point, which happens pretty quickly, I'll take my t-shirt and I'll just kind of gently rub off the remaining oil and give everything a nice good rub down. When you're done, the plug should feel smooth and slick, but not super oily. And now you can see the two different ones. It's a little hard to see on video, but the one on the left that's already been oiled just has a little bit more of a shine to it. When I flip it over to the back, you can see a little bit of chatoyancy along that wood. And honestly, the biggest difference is notice in the feel. You can just feel that that wood is oil and hydrated as opposed to the one that I haven't done yet. Now the process is the same for hangers. They are going to take a little bit longer because you're going to want to get around all those nooks and crannies. But essentially just squirt some oil on, rub it in, and then use a soft cloth. An old t-shirt works perfectly to wipe off any excess. You should really oil your wood plugs anytime immediately before wearing them as trying to put them in without oiling them can lead to them being really dry and kind of sticking to your lobes. So anytime I'm wearing wood jewelry, I'll do an oil on them before I pop them in and I'll also make sure to coat my lobes in an oil as well to make sure that things are nice and moisturized for the day. In general, if you haven't been wearing them and you're just storing them, it's good to oil them anywhere from every seven to 12 weeks. Not too often and not too much is a good rule of thumb. So you don't wanna be oiling all your wood stuff every other day or every week, and you also don't wanna overly douse them in oil. Now that being said, I've lived in a lot of humid climates, so I don't tend to oil my wood as much. Once you own wood body jewelry, you start to get a feel for it, and generally in humid climates, I can go months without oiling my wood plugs, and I can still touch them, and they still have like a soft hydrated feel, simply because I'm in such a humid area. However, I have friends who live in desert climates who have to oil their wood plugs way more often because everything dries out faster there. The more you work with and care for the jewelry that you own, the better of a feel you'll get for when things need an oil or a polish and some care and when they're good to go. Wood is a material that I really enjoy wearing. It's super lightweight, it's very comfortable. There's so many interesting and fun things that people can do with carving for wood body jewelry. And I love watching it change and grow with me over time. Plus, the care and maintenance for these is honestly a lot easier than metal body jewelry. I can spend ages polishing a pair of metal plugs or hangers, and wood plugs just need a little drink of oil every now and again, and they're good to go. So that's it. Just a quick little tutorial on the caring and keeping of your wood plugs to make sure that everything stays happy and that your ears stay healthy while you wear them. Do you want me to cover other organics like bone or horn? let me know in the comments down below. I know y'all want to see me do stone, so I will be working on that one soon too. As per usual, if you like my content, please hit like and subscribe, and I'm sure we'll be hanging out and talking more about taking care of all your plugs very soon.